הגרמנים הנאצים ועוזריהם ושהלכו לעולמם that we have been gathering here to commemorate the memory of the Shoah, the lowest point of Jewish history, and also the lowest point of European history. This is the time of gathering storm clouds. Today is a day of mourning for over six million Jews murdered by Nazis. There is anti-Semitism in Europe. There is a free elected member of a parliament of the, of a member state of the European Parliament asking for registering Jews. This is a shame in Europe. This Remembrance Day is not an exclusive one day event. It is a permanent duty every day. International Holocaust Day is a vital relay for the transmission of memory regarding the greatest catastrophe ever perpetrated by man against man. Memory which speaks to us about the present and the future as well as the past. Memory that warns us about man-made disasters that may still lie ahead. Sweden was at that time, the Swedes at that time felt very far away from what was going on down there in Europe on the other side of the sea. Not that they were indifferent, but they thought, what can we do? But Uncle Raoul was different. He was concerned about what was going on in the world, but nobody could have imagined him as a future superhero. By choosing to defend life, he knew he was losing his comfort, his security, his friends, his job, and that he may even lose his life. I would like to turn back the winds of time and take you with me to the barrack in Auschwitz-Birkenau when, where I was a prisoner 20 months. My number was 45,554. What I am experiencing here right now was a surrealistic event then. The dream to tell the world kept me struggling to survive and gave me the strength to suffer. Brussels was the first city where I lived after my liberation. And today, in this city, I feel privileged to express my profound recognition 
and gratitude in the name of those who perished and of those who are still alive to you, the members of the European Parliament for making the Day of Liberation the cause of humanity. Shalom, Aleinu, Valkol, Israel, Vimru, Amen. The European Parliament is a place with the working place of 750 parliamentarians from 27 member states. Uh, Jewish, Christians, Muslims, non-believers, black people, white people, Roma people, Germans, Italians, French. We have uh, uh, created an assembly representing the heterogeneous structure of our uh, different nations on the European continent working together on the level of mutual respect and dignity. And therefore this is the place for a regular uh, commemorating that the place here and the spirit here is exactly the opposite of what represented the Nazi ideology. Is anti-Semitism still today a problem in Europe? Yes, it is a problem. It was always there. It is always existing. The evil is uh, always present and it is uh, therefore always necessary to fight against it. The demons of the 20th century uh, who destroyed uh, everything in Europe physically and morally and led to the deepest uh, point of civilization, Auschwitz. Uh, these uh, demons are still alive. We controlled them, but we, but we have not replaced them. Our structures, our common institutions are the best instrument to fight against. But uh, this is an eternal fight and uh, destruction is existing like constructive things are existing and this is a fight every day. Final question, how can we work together as civil society and European Parliament to fight anti-Semitism and to commemorate the victims of the Holocaust? I, uh, I'm deeply convinced uh, that those who uh, have a public uh, function, those who have a public responsibility in political life, in art, in uh, science, in economy, have also a public duty to stand up wherever racism and anti-Semitism is arising and to, to say no, no, so as long as I am here, as long there is no racism and no anti-Semitism. This is if the public leaders are courageous, people will follow.